All right, now let me show you how to embed an image in your application. So I'm gonna go into solution, right click the portable class library project, add a new folder. I'm gonna call this images. Now I'm gonna right click this folder, add file. I've got this image here, which you can also download from this lecture, but you can use any images. So let's add this image to our project. Okay. Now, back in the solution, right click the image. In Xamarin Studio, we have this item here, build action. And you can see by default is set to none. We gotta change this to embedded resource. If you're using Visual Studio, you need to go to properties. And in the properties window, you can see the build action. So we're gonna change this to embedded resource. You will see a resource ID automatically generated for you. So simply copy this value. Now, by default, we cannot set an embedded resource in XAML. We need to implement a custom markup extension for that. And that's what I'm gonna show you in the next lecture. So in this lecture, we're gonna do it in code behind. Image.source. Now we're gonna use one of the factory methods on the image source class. So image source dot from resource. And here we pass that resource ID we just copied. You can see that this resource ID consists of the application name, the folder or folders, and the file name. And these parts are separated by a period. So these are the steps you need to take in order to embed an image in your application. And by the way, I've simplified this XAML file. We no longer have the absolute layout or the activity indicator because this image is going to be loaded straight away. Now let's run the application. And here's the background image embedded in the application. This is actually one of my own photos that I shot about a year ago in Queensland, Australia. If you like it, I've attached it for you to this lecture. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use an embedded resource in XAML.